Hey Clashers, Super Dragons are still incredible strong. So I teamed up with the Bats, one of the best Super Dragon players out there, to create this guide so you know exactly how to beat those bases out there on Legend or wherever you are. So let's dive into that. And if you like videos like these, make sure to use the creator code. Well, buying any of those in-game offers or buying, for example, the Gold Pass and putting a creator code supports us quite a lot. So Code Itsu helps me Writing those videos, creating those guides, so thank you so much for that. And now let's dive into the explanation on how those Super Dragons actually work. And we're starting things off with one of those teaser bases. And if you want to know more about Bats or the team he's playing for, Entropy Gaming, then make sure to take a look at the links down below in the description and always stay informed about whatever they're doing and whenever he has something new to share about his legend attacks or about the strategy in general. But the most important thing and now we're diving into the guide, is all about the hero pathing with those dragons. And that's something which I was really, I was never really taking into consideration. So why exactly is that so important? It is incredibly important that you're protecting your heroes. And you want to make sure that there is as like, like at least damage on your heroes as possible. That's like the main point. And what he's doing on this base is exactly that. So he's starting his king and queen on the left side. And with this, there is no expos in range, no main damage threat whatsoever. Meanwhile, all of those high damage buildings, like the expos, like the scatter shots, like the town hall, and so on, is located at the bottom side of this base. So you can see already, with the super dragons taking all of this down, it's a pretty easy path for the heroes around the top side. Game ability, yeah sure, had to be used, at this point already, you can see the eagle is down from the royal champion. The queen is still left alive with her ability. And that's kind of all about the secret. And I know super dragons are known as really spammy attack. And I agree that it's not the hardest attack to do. But at the same time, you can spam and not spam every single strategy which is out there. Even Lalo. I think everyone would say Lalo is a really, really hard strategy to learn. A really strategic strategy. But at the same time, you can just like put a wall of loons down there and it's still Lalo. So what, what the points I want to get to is every single strategy, even if it looks like the easiest strategy out there, like Super Dragons, you can master it and you can play it better than just like spamming everything into the base without having any proper plan. So knowing what you have to go for and what you have to look out for is an important thing. So for example, this strategy is not having a wall break. But what do you do for that? Well, reuse your pets. That's a really strategic and important thing about this. So what is, he, what is he doing on this one? It's a similar setup as the first base, right? So what is he doing? He's actually forcing his king into the base with the, using his queen as funnel option. So he doesn't need a wall break, but at the same time he's getting into this first layer. Then in addition, he's using the super dragons to then push the queen around the corner and make sure that the queen is following the king. With this you can see already the Super Dragons, again, are taking down all of the important damage, which are important versus the heroes, like the X-Bows, Getter Shots, and so on. You want to dodge those with your heroes. Meanwhile, on the other side, you have your heroes then walking along and taking down all of those air defenses. As soon as the Clan Castle as a building is going down, you can send in your Royal Champion, because that's the next important thing. Try to dodge the Clan Castle with your heroes if possible. So this already is looking really good, we can see that. The Royal Champion took down the Eagle, so there's no more damage incoming. At the same time, one of the most important things, which I have never really thought about, which he said is, keep your Queen alive, and that's what the Unicorn does. So do not send her into burst damage, for example. Try to keep her alive with your heroes, with nice and clever pathing. So, for example, dodging all of those important defenses, like the Expos or Scatter Shots, is an important next touch. So that's what he did over here, and I think now we should get into the box bases. We know box bases are everywhere, so how do you beat those box bases and what should you look out for? As well for box bases, there are the same rules for as for every other base, right? So the most important things again is try to dodge the damage with your heroes, and then as well try to dodge the clan castle range with them as well. Those are your biggest priorities, so on this base it is actually pretty easy. Always choose the right side, which is the tunnel side, because there is no expos whatsoever. And at the same time, just take them out. At this point, some of you might choose the slammer instead of the blimp. But actually, the blimp over here is kind of nice, because the blimp is supposed to take down the town hall, so the queen doesn't have to do that. The next thing, which is really important, try to go for the 
um, Dragon Rider because the Dragon Rider is really likely that the Town Hall is going down. Even with the death damage, there's the good chance of the Town Hall going down. Then, as soon as the Clan Castle is going down, that's the point where you can use the Royal Champ for the back end for like air defenses if you want to, or other things. As well, what he did over there was really smart, which is delaying the King. You will see him doing that quite often. So why exactly is he delaying the King? Well, the main reason for this is the King always has a chance of going the wrong way. Especially if the King is going to clear out buildings, which the Queen then needs later to like get dragged in a certain direction. That's why he's always adding the King quite late. At the same time though, putting the Queen not in danger is a really important thing as well. Um, so make sure that the damage on the Queen is kind of like... In some way that you can control it. A little bit of damage is always fine. The unicorn is going to recover that. But otherwise make sure that your queen is not going to die early on. This is going to be the next 3 star um, on this base. On this box base. So let's take a look at a couple of other box bases. And see if he's just following always the same, the same format of attacking. This is a box base which is a little bit older. But the same setup as out of those box bases right. So what do you look out for? Again you're looking for the expos. And you're looking for the clan castle. So where are those located? Well, they're on the town hall side. So what do you do on this one? Well, again, you have a really easy and obvious uh, path for your heroes. And that's exactly what he is doing. Again, sending in the queen on the right side. The next thing is, do not use the king too early. On this one, there is only the archer tower on your queen. You don't care about that. The unicorn is going to recover that. He's using the super dragons on the other side to funnel the queen. So the queen is funneling the super dragons. The super dragons is funnel are funneling the queen. So that's kind of the setup. Then again, the blimp to get the town hall. You can see already he's having always the dragon rider and the loons in there. And then at, as there's a bit of too much damage incoming for the queen, he's just using the king to give a little bit more tankiness. You can see as well, the queen's staying alive forever. The unicorn is recovering her. And that's just how things work. But at this point, it's all about that you take down the main threat to the heroes with those super dragons. You might see a couple of other attackers having more overkills, but at the same time, they're not as consistent. And that's kind of the secret to all of those attacks, actually, Legend. It's not about, okay, I have freezed out this base with having 7 out of my... Five super dragons left. No, it's all about that you are three star every single time and you don't care about how much you actually have left. So that's why the method of bats is so, so crazy strong because, as I have said, the last season he got over 6.2k trophies and he finished as one of the top 10 in Germany, which is not easy to be honest. When you know that Boom is pushing like with three or four accounts and then you have uh, Boom as well. Uh, yo yo like all of those all of those crazy crazy people out there are pushing so it's not easy to, to, to be that that high so bats as well again showing that with the hero power to the back end it is really really strong with those air attacks and that's most of the time the biggest thing I see so many players where those heroes are just dying within a couple of seconds which obviously is not the optimal thing. So, either way, we can see it right now that the queen is barely staying alive. It, it was close, I, I have to admit that. But at the same time, if luck is going to like happen more and more often, then that's what you call skill. So, really nicely done by him. So, let's take a look at what is he is doing when the clan cast and heroes are positioning a little bit different. On this base, for example, you have a couple of problems to face. First off, Heroes are on one side, which means on the eagle side, and we have the clan castle on the other side. So you can see already the classic setup of like just entering at the flank is not working because sending in the heroes into the town hall means looting out the clan castle. Sending in the heroes into the enemy heroes means your heroes won't get far. So you can see already the problem. So what is he doing on bases like this? Well, he's actually taking an attack or an entry, which you might call risky. But at the end of the day, it's actually kind of, you can compare it to a Pekka Smash where you use the, the um, Lock Launcher to enter from the other side of the base. On this one, it's all about, it's all about taking down the core of this base to then around make sure that your heroes are staying alive to take down the Town Hall. As I have said, this might sound risky, but if you get used to this and like knowing how to place everything, the bases are getting um, pretty easy to be honest. So we can see already he has just put everything in as like uh, as regular. The spells as well. The spells as well. He's deploying the first two rages really early. That's something which you can see. 
then the last remaining rages are always getting placed according to wherever you need more damage to overpower a certain hero a certain defense for example or maybe like on this attack just save it for your own heroes for the back end raging things up making sure the queen and the king are dealing more damage and then adding the royal champion on the back end what you in an optimal way want to go for is dealing with the clan castle you want to take down the clan castle with their super dragons on this one this did not even work, so this is already kind of the worst case possible. So the lava on is coming out, but at the same time, because, well, you have still a super dragon left in life, the pups do not really matter. At the same time, you can see as well, I mean, the royal champion has her ability, so things are not going to be too hard, so this means another 3-star for him. So you can see already how this setup works, what he's looking out for. So, we just put everything back together, which is... Take a look at the expos, where is less damage for your heroes and always go for those creative hero pathings to make sure your heroes do not take too much damage, they are your main carry. The next thing is, if possible, take a look at the clan castle range. You do not want to have your heroes looting out a lava hound, that's not optimal. And then, that's already it. Super dragons are, as we have said, easier compared to some other strategies, but still you can master them. The same as for Electric Dragons or any other strategy. Do not feel like bad or whatever if someone is calling you a spammer whatsoever. Just play whatever you are ha like you want to play, what you're having fun with, and that's what matters. Every single strategy out there, you can master, you can learn, and Super Dragons are no difference whatsoever. So thank you, thank you so much for watching. And as well, thank you so much for Bats. As I have just said, make sure to follow him on Twitter if you would like to, if you would like to see more of him. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys back tomorrow. Until then, see ya and bye bye.